Hi everyone. Today I'll quickly present GQL Alchemy 1.1, which is a Python OGM or object graph mapper for graph databases. So what is an OGM? OGM is an object graph mapper, which provides an object oriented notation to communicate with graph database. So what actually that means is that instead of writing cipher queries, uh, you're able to write code which OGM will automatically translate into cipher queries. So OG GQL Alchemy is fully open source Python library, which is actually compatible with any cipher and Bolt compatible graph database. And what it does, it actually automatically converts Python objects into something the database understands into some some queries. What's uh, also a benefit is that since you have Python code, all the code checking tools from IDEs and from Python ecosystem will automatically work. On top of all that, GQL also provides a nice way to interact with memgraph specific features like streaming, triggers, and constraints. This is the actual code. So there is uh, an instance of memgraph. And after that, you can actually have two options. One is to use the query builder, which is a set of functions or methods uh, that can be stacked. And at the end, the query will be generated and executed against Mangrove instance. A little bit more advanced option is the schema aware Python object, which can actually be, let's say, annotated by these fields and uh, like cu custom properties, which can uh, say, for example, that a property is a unique or stuff like that. And at the end, you can store these objects uh, directly into the database, or you can fetch existing object by calling a simple load. One significant GQL Alchemy feature is to actually store large properties on disk. Since Memograph is a graph database that primarily stores data in, in, in main memory, GQL Alchemy provides a nice way how to store large properties like string or parquet files on disk. And all these things is fully abstracted, so you don't have to come up with, I don't know, additional service or additional uh, complex code and then integrate that somehow into Memgraph. All that is abstracted away. A little bit bigger picture. So GQL Alchemy is actually a nice interface to all Python specific uh, tools and ecosystem. For example, Flask, GQL Alchemy really nicely abstracts Memgraph but it can also be used even in the backend code to develop applications fast, faster. So to actually expose all the functionalities for your single page applications in React or graph visualizations in D3 or similar libraries. How does that fit in Memgraph puzzle? It actually fits, GQL Alchemy actually fits on the right side uh, in the application stack because it accelerates application development and uh, actually make a life of, of a developer much easier by leveraging the existing infrastructure like Bolt Proxy, like Bolt Protocol and uh, Py MG Client, which is a Python driver. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Please uh, give it a try. Join our Memgraph community. You can visit our website or visit us on discourse.memgraph.com or visit our Slack on discord.gg or you can check all the code and contribute under github.com slash memgraph. Thanks for watching. Bye.